positive growth in access to education at 82 percent over the last 10 years a unesco institute for statistic global education monitoring report reveals that about 244 million children and youth worldwide were out of school by the end of 2021 of these 118.5 million were girls with sub-saharan africa having the highest rates of education exclusion among the six developing world region now high education costs social cultural barriers and poverty are pushing more girls out of school in rural africa our reporter levis musumba visited room remote villages in kilifi county to assess how girls from vulnerable communities are struggling to access education with some missing out entirely here's that report in a world where millions of children and youth remain out of school, the harsh reality is that poverty often plays a pivotal role in pushing bright students away from education opportunities. This tragic situation is exacerbated by retrogressive cultural norms that deny girls the right to education, perpetuating a cycle of inequality and hindering global progress. Meet Jane Bajila, a determined mother of two from the minority ethnic group of Wata in Adward, Kilifi County. Despite the odds stacked against her, she is on a journey to transform her life through education. Katika jamii yetu ya Wata, wasichana wao wapewi priorities ya kwenda shuleni. Licha ya kwamba mimi nilikuwa napenda sana kusoma, lakini mzee hakuwa na mapato ya kwa anaweza kanilipa ile school fees yenye nilikuwa nahitajika kulipa nilikuwa nasoma ikifika kama weekend hivi ninatoka ninaenda nikafanya hivi kazi vya mikono ama kulimia mashambani ama kutengeneza vikazi vikazi ili nikipata ile ka, ile pesa naenda kujilipia mwenyewe school fees mimi ndio wa pili kumaliza high school hawa watatu wote wasichana waliacha primary ile tu nimeolewa haikunivunja moyo kwamba mimi nimeolewa kwa hivyo maisha yangu ya elimu imeishia hapa hapana mimi nilikuwa na ile moral na ile moyo wa kupenda kusoma niliolewa nikiwa niko miaka 22 nimekaa kwa ndoa sasa niko na miaka 6 a 2 hours drive south of adu we meet kazo her journey to education is not always easy. She faces poverty and cultural beliefs that hinder her path. As the firstborn in a family of six, her father made it clear never to educate girls, as they were meant to be married off. Sasa mimi ndo nikapelekwa St John's ndo akaenda St John's akaenda kutafuta form. Mimi nilikuwa nimepata form ya Bahar Girls. Sasa mama akaenda kupale St John's maana huko ilikuwa ni boarding school. Sasa mama akasema huko hana uwezo. Afadhali hii day school anaweza akapata fees akanilipi. Joked in the chain of poverty, her determined mother decided to brace the cold and educate her daughters. Kazo is now the only child in her family who has gone beyond secondary school and she is determined to break the barriers holding her back. I saw my form 1, paka kamaliza form 4, na kwa mwaka nilikuwa nalipa ilifu 35. I pomaliza, wabakisha denle ilifu 9 na miatano, tasa hii anadaiwa. Hai, I pomaliza, kabidi hui kawambia, tabidi ungojie kwanza, paka hawa nao, wafike kiwango kila mbacho wewe umefikia. Sabu nikiwa wacha, tasema mama yuko, nikuwa na upende leo. Haya akakubali akaka nyumbani. As the literacy rate in Kenya rises, projects like Kenya Marine Fisheries Social Economic Development Kemsfed are playing a crucial role in breaking down the barriers to education by driving the vision of universal basic education and improving the livelihoods of fisher folks and vulnerable households dependent on fishing. For the secondary school it covers tuition fee and also statutory course for um, taking the final examination for KCSE. Uh, for the TVET, it covers both tuition fees for the whole academic year. They target mostly uh, students from Fisher Folk households that are vulnerable and also from VMGs. The 
overall literacy rate in Kilifi County stands at 68%. Of this number, 51% are men while 49% are women. At the same time, according to the UNESCO Institute for Statistics, over 118.5 million girls from developing countries remain out of school globally. Bright and needy students like Bajila and Kazo, due to their socio-economic status, remain disadvantaged in accessing quality and affordable education. Another area is that uh, you see sometimes are married off because of lack of school fees. That's why the, the project is coming in to fill that, that gap. Powered by determination and resilience of individuals like Jane Bajila and Jane Kazo are rewriting their destinies through the Kemsfade Scholarship Program. Bajila and Kazo have the opportunity to receive a quality education and break the cycle of poverty. Ingekwa si hii scholarship, sijui maisha yangu ya ilimu ingekwa imepotelea wapi, lakini hii scholarship imekuja kunyokoa. Kwa hivyo mimi ni kuna shukrani kubwa tena sana kwa shukuru watu wa skola, watu wa Kemsfield kwa kunipea scholarship ili kuendeleza na kufikia ile malengo yangu katika maisha yangu. Nasoma kwa bidii nikimaliza shule pate kazi msaidie mamangu. Msaidie wale dogo zangu. Pia mimi maisha yangu yasiwe kama hivi vinye nimekuwa. Mtoto wangu aishi vizuri. Poverty and retrogressive cultural norms that deny girls